So what this shadow is, is as you can see, a one pixel shadow that I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it's a thin white line right at the top, only a one pixel white shadow at the top. So now let's go ahead and create this main gleam, this 10 pixel big bulky glaring gleam that you can see across all of your footer and all of the buttons. So in order to do this you actually don't need an additional entirely new line. You can just copy this and let me turn my word wrap on, press comma and paste this entire thing again. Now unlike before where we just have you know um, zero one pixel we don't just want to put a shadow on top of a shadow although sometimes you do do that. What we want to do is we want to change the second one to 10 pixels and we want to bring down the opacity to 0.2. So this first shadow that I'm highlighting is you probably can't even see on the YouTube video it's so thin it just adds a nice bright one pixel gleam on top and the second shadow that we just created is actually this big you know it's almost um, the height of my cursor right here it's this white glare across the top of the footer and that's um, you know usually everyone's favorite glare because it's the most apparent so now what I want to do is I actually want to add two more shadows so they're gonna be uh, kind of the same so inset 0 10 pixel 20 pixel RGBA 255, 255, 255, and the last value for this one is 0 0.25. This third shadow that we just created lays on top of this footer, and it's actually a very blurry white shadow, and it fades from the top to the bottom. So as you can see this entire footer is light at the top then it gets darker as you go towards the bottom of the browser this is what this shadow accomplishes. So as you can see we're basically saying create this size shadow that's white 255, 255, 255 that lays on top. Now there's mm, got a piece of crap in my mouth there's one last shadow that we need to create and guys I promise that this is the last one even though it's by the way I need to give you guys a disclaimer whenever I'm developing four shadows for this effect and I'm trying to explain you guys where they all are it's very difficult <laughs> you know to explain oh you see the shadow right here oh what about this one over here oh no I'm talking about this one over here it's very hard to explain but go ahead and play around with it in your code and you guys are going to see what I'm talking about but for the last one what we're going to do is we're actually going to build a black shadow and that is another reason why it looks so dark at the bottom and it fades away as you go up of course gleaming at the top so let me just go ahead and code this last shadow and the code for this let me get my cursor in the right place is inset 0 negative 15 and yes you can have negative values negative 15 30 pixels RGBA and of course I said this one is going to be black so that means 0 0 0 for black and the opacity of this is 0 0.3 so just to recap one last time I created four shadows and if you guys uh, you know don't understand where they are just play around with them in your code and you guys are gonna see them maybe change one to pink if you don't know where it is and it's gonna make sense but the first one was the top border the very thin one pixel top border the second one was this main glaring top white section that is 10 pixels the third one you guys probably can't notice it it's hard to point out it overlays it in its top white and the fourth one is just a dark shadow that comes up from the bottom just to make the uh, bottom of your footer a little bit darker it makes the glare pop out a little bit more so anyways that is how you use multiple shadows for an awesome effect of a transparent footer but guys we are nowhere close to done yet but for now thank you guys for watching and well I'll see you guys in the next video